A significant winter storm is expected to impact the Midwest and Northeast as we approach the late week. However, as we approach the weekend, we could see a significant winter storm or nor'easter impact the Northeast right around January 23rd as the latest depiction of the European model is forecasting a major winter storm to impact the Northeast. If we were to move forward into the January 20th time frame, we do see that after this trough moves through, the European model is forecasting a significant jet stream dip to occur right around January Sunday, January 20th. 22nd, which will create a high amount of instability right around the Midwestern portion of the country. And that will create a powerful low pressure system. And since the European model isn't expecting a high amount of ridging to build right around the eastern half of the United States, we could see the solar pressure system move east enough to bring heavy snowfall right up along the east coast, including the major population centers such as Boston, New York City, and Philadelphia could get involved depending on how much ridging there will be right up along the east coast now what really what really will determine how um where exactly the storm will go is depending on how much troughing there will be just to, to the north of this old pressure system because if there if the ridging ends up being a little bit too strong this will force this old pressure system to move far westward and bring more of a southerly flow right around the northeast for the uh, for this low pressure system to impact more of the midwest however if we were to see the ridging be just light enough or if we're not going to see um, a strong amount of ridging right along the east coast, and we could easily see the solar pressure system move far west enough to um, bring major snowfall right up along the east coast. However, the uncertainty is so high, not only because I'm going right around seven days out with this forecast, but the GFS model, another reliable computer model, is disagreeing regarding how much ridging there will be right up along the east coast as we approach the January 22nd, the 23rd time frame, where the GFS model wants to take the solar pressure system some lot further westward rather than eastward so we'd see more of the heavy snowfall right around the midwest and primarily rain vent for the east coast but the european model state um is forecasting a different scenario where there won't be enough ridging to steer this um northward rather quickly and um, pretty much steer it just west enough to bring that cold air right up along the east coast and um that low press and the snow um right up along the east coast as well let's take a look at the 500 millibar height and Omni to really show you guys how, um, what will um, the differences between the, the two main computer models. Take a look at what the GFS model is forecasting right around January 22nd to the 23rd. We do see that the GFS model expects a much stronger ridge build right around the same time period, which is the reason why it wants to force the soil pressures to move northward rather quickly to bring more of a heavy snowfall in the Midwest and primarily bring a rain event right up along the Northeast. We do see some snow right around the interior portions of the Northeast, but you see that much of the more populated areas don't experience necessarily a uh, very significant snowstorm out of this um, storm. Actually, um, it's this snowstorm that um, that that's going to happen right around the 23rd. So we need to pay very close attention to how much ridging there will be, right? Um, because I'll determine where exactly the storm will be located. And the European model has been the more reliable model this winter. So this could mean that um, we're more likely to see the East Coast scenario right around January 23rd. But there's still a lot of time to iron out the forecast, especially since the European model has been going back and forth regarding um, where exactly the snow will be right around January 23rd. So we're going to need to pay very close attention to that. Take a look at the GFS's model scenario when it comes to the height anomaly forecast. We do see that there's a storm system expected to bring heavy snowfall throughout the Midwest and Northeast. However, for this potential January 23rd storm, the GFS model expects just um, enough ridging to steer the storm um, further northward to bring most of the snow to the Midwest rather than the Northeast. But depending on if this trough is able to pretty much um, break apart this ridging, then we could see the storm move a lot further westward since the ridging will be a lot weaker so we're gonna need to pay close attention to how far south this ridge will build and how strong it'll build as we approach um, January 22nd and if, if you want to pay close attention to this just pay attention to how the ridging will be at right around Canada over the next several days see if there's a multitude of troughs coming through because the more troughs that we're going to see right around the southern portion of Canada the more likely we're going to see the ridging break apart and that will allow this storm to move a lot far eastward to bring the heavy snowfall right up along the Interstate 95 corridor so we're going to need to pay very close close attention to that. This is definitely different from what the European model is forecasting. 
Take a look at what the European model is forecasting at the same time period. We do see that the European model expects this trough located right around northern Canada to break apart this ridge and that will create a, a very um, empty area where this low pressure system is able to move a lot further eastward so there's definitely a huge difference we're going to need to pay very close attention to the ridging over the next several days to really determine the track of this potential january 23rd storm so make, make, definitely something to be aware of at least for the coastal areas of the northeast because this could be your next potential snowstorm that depending on um like i said how much ridging there will be all throughout the east coast Take a look at what the European model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall associated from the January 23rd snowstorm. We do see that this impacts New York City, Philadelphia, Boston gets involved, so you need to pay very close attention to this. We could see a large area of 6 to 12 inches, and I wouldn't be surprised if this solar pressure system moves even further eastward to bring the heavier snowfall even more so right up along the Interstate 95 corridor. So definitely something to pay close attention to over the next several days. The European model leaning towards uh, track further eastward. Now moving on to our more uh, the next storm system that's expected to happen in the short term future. If we were to take a look at that, we're gonna have a small storm system that will bring a large area of snow showers throughout Minnesota and Wisconsin. Expect one to three inches of snow from that snowstorm. However, of course, we're gonna see a high level of instability for a large area of snow to develop right around the northern Midwest, where you could expect right around six to twelve inches of snow associated with this solar pressure system. And we have seen a pretty big difference regarding on um, the track of this um, storm system compared to yesterday where now the European model is leaning towards bringing the solar pressure system a little bit further northward so Chicago might be more in a rain event in this scenario but there's still some time to iron out the forecast so don't let your guard down just yet around Chicago but we could um but you guys might be in um for maybe from um, potentially one three inches of snow but it could be a lot higher than that depending on how the computer models change but in the areas um i'd say right around the um, um further westward of chicago you should expect six to 12 inches of snow at this point the forecast is fairly certain at this time it does become a little bit more uncertain depend um because it really all depends on how this jet stream positions itself which will depend on the amount of ridging where the european model is expecting a little bit more ridging to build earlier than the GFS model, which is the reason why the, G the European model is taking the rain a little bit further northward um, and the snow a little bit further northward and steering the soil pressure some further northward thanks to the amount of ridging there is to create a steep incline for the soil pressure system to move up the jet stream. And of course, the northeast, you need to pay close attention to very heavy snowfall, and this could impact areas as far south as Boston and Albany, so you need to pay very close attention to that and you could experience a large area of 6 to 12 inches of snow throughout um, the northern portion of New England so you want to pay very close attention to, the, to that as well. Take a look at what the, GF, the, the uh, G, GFS model is forecasting at this time. We do see that GFS model expects this storm to develop a lot more rapidly where we do see very heavy snowfall throughout northern Kansas. And this should impact you guys right around the Wednesday afternoon time frame. So right around southern Nebraska and Kansas, you want to make sure um, to stay prepared for very heavy snowfall right around Wednesday time frame. This should approach Iowa on early Thursday and Chicago um, right around the midday on Thursday. Thursday, so you want to pay very close attention to that. The GFS model is expecting this soil pressure system to take a track further southward as a result of a lack of ridging. So we're going to see the storm move a little bit more towards the northwesterly direction rather than a uh, north uh, uh, north uh, northerly direction so we're gonna see that snow um be a little uh, move a little bit further south or to where chicago gets more involved in this scenario so so um it'll take some time to really determine where exactly the storm will go i wouldn't say we'll get a really confident forecast till tuesday once the old pressure system is okay right around colorado that's when we'll, we'll really get a good idea of how much ridging there will be and how the jet stream will position itself so make sure to pay close attention over the next several days especially if you're close to the rain snow line but i say in Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, in the areas that aren't close to the rain snow line, it's pretty certain at this point, you will experience 6 to 12 inches of snow. And same goes for the interior northeast, so make sure to pay very close attention to that over the next several days. 
Take a look at what the GFS model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall associated with this storm system. We do see that Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, including Des Moines, Milwaukee, experiences um, is expecting to experience six to twelve inches of snow from the latest depiction of the GFS model. Of course, there's still uncertainty with the forecast, but for the most part, you should expect around this range as it's becoming highly likely at this point that a good a large area of six to twelve inches of snow should be likely in Chicago. It's going be a close forecast for you guys you could expect anywhere from one to three but so potentially maybe over six inches so depending on position of this but i lean more to around maybe three to six inches so right around the chicago, uh, chicago area as it seems like um the computer models are leaning towards bringing this track word uh, this track a little bit further northward than anticipated and in the interior northeast you could expect six to twelve inches snow as well especially in the higher elevations the European model is expecting a very similar forecast, mainly 6 to 12 inches of snow, but it's taking the snowfall a little bit further northward, where Chicago is only experiencing 1 inch of snow in this scenario, but very similar to the GFS model, and a little bit more snow throughout New England as well, so make sure to pay very close attention to that. Taking a look at the um, total snowfall forecast associated with the storm system, of course you need to pay close attention to that potential of a major snowstorm right around January 23rd is still far from certain, but depending on how much ridging it will be, that will determine who will experience the heaviest snowfall associated with the storm system. But for this storm system that's expected to occur the late week, the certainty is pretty high at this point. You should expect 6 to 12 inches of snow in this um, pink area, um, which is a, a, a large area, includes northern Kansas, southern Nebraska, Iowa, as well more. Milwaukee and portions of Michigan. Same goes for the portions of the interior northeast, especially in the higher elevations. You should expect three, um, six to twelve inches, and you see a large area of three, six, and one, three inches of snow as well throughout the northern portions of the United States. Um, but anyways, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content.